Hello guys, this is Anastasia. In this video, I'm going to try Savaland Solid Gel Nail Polish. I'm using this brand for two years now. I like their acrylics, gels and poly gels and finally get to try gel polish. Each collection includes 16 colors. I have three collections and also I have a kit with soft gel tips. So let's take a look inside. This is the kit of soft gel tips, and I think this is coffin shape. Yes, looks like long coffin tips. But let's take a closer look because I would like to see the length. So these are like, I would say medium coffin, probably. I wouldn't call it long, but what I noticed that every single person have a different definition of short and long so let's say this is medium and also we have something else in the kit this is nail extend glue gel tip cutter that's really nice that they included this in the kit because you always need this if you're not happy with the length of the tips we also have manual that's a small compact UV LED nail lamp. We will need this to freeze cure tips when we will be applying them and there is a USB cord. Nice! Let's see what's in the pink one. This is a brand new product by Savalent. I have three different collection and they also had this clear seal. I just already took it off because I just couldn't wait and wanted to see what's inside. So we have a brush, like each kit includes a brush. Wow, so we have solid colors and we also have glitter colors. Let's open up another two collections. This one also includes some glitter and solid colors. It all has white, silver. This is like brown collection nude and fall colors all right so let's try them you need a brush in order to apply this solid cream gel polish and almost every shimmer or glitter color requires at least two coats it can be used on top of some color with just one coat because it's slightly transparent but if you would like to use it just by itself i think that two coats looks so much better as for cream colors some of them have a very good coverage and some of them still require two coats. I noticed that some nail technicians who haven't tried solid gel polishes yet are really worried if they will be able to apply them evenly. As you can see, this is super easy. Even though it's solid, once you take it from the pot and apply it on the tip or on the nail, it starts warming up between the brush and the surface of the nail or the tip and actually it's quite easy to apply. This collection includes many brown colors, coffee colors, nude colors, so I think it will work great for fall time or just as the basic collection. And I proceed to another one. This one has so many red and pink colors. Some colors have surprisingly good coverage, such as black. I think black needs just one coat. So if you're planning to do some kind of nail art on top of the color, they can be used with just one coat. But if you would like to use the color by itself, it needs two coats. And all the glitter colors as well need at least two coats. This is the full collection. I had two clients who were just obsessed with all kinds of red colors, so they will definitely like this one. And finally, there is another collection, which is a mix of everything. There are some nude colors, some bright colors, such as yellow, green, and blue, and also some glitter colors. I'm very interested in this kind of diamond colors. They look so beautiful, and I'm really curious if they will look good and work for ombre. So this is what I'm going to try today on my model. This is the full collection, and we're definitely going for these beautiful glitter colors. Let's do the nails. This is my model for this design, Joyce. Thank you so much for coming. She volunteered to become my model after I published this ad on my channel and once again this is so nice to meet 
people who are watching my channel in person just to interact with them and talk as we were doing nails well obviously we've been talking all the time and I'm going to start with the prep first I push back the cuticles using orange wood stick and then I proceed to dry manicure using electric nail file we will be doing soft gel extensions even though this method of doing extensions is way easier compared to acrylic or gel extensions you still need to keep in mind that prep is very important if you not do it right nails are going to lift even if this is soft gel extensions When I'm done with the cuticle prep, I'm going to pick the sizes of the tips and this part is very important. Every tip should be a perfect fit. Just imagine you are trying to squeeze in in the jeans two sizes smaller. Eventually, you will end up in very uncomfortable situation and the same thing may happen to tips. They will simply come off when you're not expecting, so make sure they perfectly fit. Then I'm going to take off the surface shine using 180 grit file. It's important to do it not only in the center of the nail where we can clearly see everything, but also along the sidewalls. Some nails may have a little dips or bumps or ridges, and regardless of that, we still need to take off the shine from these areas. When you're done with this part, clean the dust and proceed to the second part of the prep. I'm going to apply dehydrator, let dry, do not forget to apply it on all nails, and then I'm going to apply a thin layer of the base coat. If you're dealing with nails that have ridges, make sure that you fill in all the spaces, like all surface of the nail should be covered with the base coat, but only the surface of the nail. Do not touch the surrounding skin, and I recommend to leave a little margin along the sidewalls and near the cuticle. And definitely do not apply the product under the cuticle, since it is not going to fully cure in that area. Then we need to cure it for 30 seconds in LED, and while it is curing, I recommend you to prep the tips. Instead of etching them with the e-file, I am going to clean them underneath. You can use alcohol, but it is going to leave white spots, so I prefer acetone. Nail Extend Glue Gel is the one I am going to use to apply the tips. Apply it underneath. Attach it on the nail, make sure it covers the surface between the nail and the tip without any bubbles. If you see any bubbles, then stop and squeeze them out. And then I will freeze cure them in a small savillant lamp for about 10 seconds. Then I will fully cure them in a full-size lamp for one minute. You can freeze cure each nail and then fully cure the entire hand, like you do not need to do it one by one if you're working on someone else. However, if you're working on yourself, I recommend doing this one by one. If you see a large size of the bubbles inside, it means whether you did not apply enough gel or maybe you're pressing too much. If it's the opposite, too much product is squeezing out of the tip, it's whether there's too much product or you're pressing incorrectly. We don't need to shape the snails after curing, but I just slightly file the free edge to make sure that it is completely smooth so we can apply the color. And also you do not need to buff them, but for me, I don't know, it's probably a matter of habit. I just love the buffed nails look. And for me, it's just a little easier to apply it this way. So I'm using a very light buffer. I think this is 220 grit to buff the surface of the nails. If you accidentally applied some gel on top of the tip, then you can clean it right after freeze curing. It is super easy to clean with orange wood stick or a wipe. But if you forgot to do it and it cured on top of the nail, then you may buff it off with a buffer or a file. 
Soft gel extensions is truly one of the easiest and fastest ways because, I mean, it took us maybe like 20 minutes and now we have extensions. Let's do the color and the design. So this is how I recommend to apply solid gel nail polish. First, you apply it close to the cuticle. Make sure that this line is super crisp and even. And by the way, this is so easy to do it when you're working with this kind of consistency. And then technically we are going to use the product from that cuticle area and spread it across the nail plate. The key is to have a very light touch on your brush. Do not press too much to avoid brush strokes. This color has a rather good coverage, but I still decided to apply two coats because some of the nails will not be covered with the design like the entire nail. So I thought it will be just better if we have at least two coats. Do not forget that you need to fully cure first coat before applying the second one, which is one minute in LED lamp. And the coat is like super, super thin because this is all you need when you're working with a solid gel polish. And now I'm going to try the ombre. I'm using my ombre brush and apply this glitter color near the cuticle. This is the moment when I realize that this design is going to be the bomb, and this is why. This glitter is not just clear gel plus glitter, this is actually a jelly color with silver foil. And when it's like that, we will also have an ombre of the color, not only of the glitter. And if you have no idea what I just said, you will see it in a moment. I start blending the color, so we will have an intense and bright color near the cuticle, and it is going to fade closer to the free edge. I also wanted to try this pink color and figured out that this one is very similar. It is also has this jelly color inside with a silver foil. Since these colors look so good, I think it would be a crime to not have some glitter nail, like the complete nail covered with glitter with two coats. And I like the way that it is slightly transparent. And finally, I knew that you guys would be interested if these colors are going to work for the nail art, specifically glitter ones. And I decided to try it as well. As I create these abstract lines, I have to say that application is very similar to gel paints. So they're not running anywhere, you do not need to free skewer each line because it is just going to stay. And finally, on the thumb, we decided to do two color ombre. I already have a background of this actual color and I applied pink on the free edge and blue near the cuticle and did two coats so the color will be brighter and I think it turned out pretty good. And finally we are going to cure all of them for one minute in LED and final part will be sealing with a top coat and we will be using glossy top coat because this is the best solution for glitter colors. Cure in LED for one minute and the design is ready. Let me know, guys, what do you think? We totally loved the outcome and how easy and fast it was. I will leave the links to all the products in the description box as usual. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post product reviews and nail art tutorials just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!